Alaska is making national headlines, but for the wrong reason. Last month, it was dubbed the most dangerous state in America. Anchorage has had record-breaking numbers of homicides for the last two years, with 36 homicides in 2017 alone. Now, public safety is perhaps the biggest campaign issue this election. So where better than an iconic election spot to quiz our candidates about what they plan to do? You know, I'm, I, I'm affected by it just like everybody else. Um, I spent time as a prosecutor. I spent time when I was in the legislature on criminal justice commissions. And there, it's a complex answer. I can just remember when I first came up here and people saying, we didn't have gangs. There were maybe one or two murders a year. You know, I felt safe. It's only been the last probably four or five years that I felt that it's really gone downhill. Things are better than they were, and they will continue to get better. What sort of measuring stick could you point to to assure Anchorage voters that we are making progress? This is a problem with crime statistics. Sometimes if you have increased crime statistics, it's a reflection that you have more officers who are doing more work. I think. The best way of measuring public safety is do people feel safer? To be brutally yeah. honest, I don't. I feel less safe. I grew up here. Okay. I feel less safe. My parents just installed a security system yep. at their home, and we never even locked the door when I was a kid. What's going on is, you know, when you have addicts who are willing to do anything to get a fix, that's what's driving a lot of the crime that's occurring right now. I haven't had anybody who's spoken to me who thinks that we're doing the right things with regards to crime or that we're doing enough. But business owners are paying very significant amounts of property tax, right, and not getting the protection that they should. Do you think people in Anchorage would be willing to open their checkbooks if they knew they were going to get more protection as far as police force goes? I don't know. I think so. I think if you, I mean, I think people, <clears throat> I think people want to be safe. Anchorage sank to dangerously low levels of policing. We had 320 cops in 2015. Today we have 435, and we're just getting them out to the point where we're deploying them, and so the public is starting to see the impact. Will we see more academies under your watch? Yes, we're going to see more academies. We're hopefully going to stabilize at about 450 officers. We've never been that big before. We're going to see what that looks like, what that feels like. Public safety is the number one role of government. That should be funded to the, its full extent before you do look at anything else. Public safety appears to be top of mind for each of our candidates. Now the people of Anchorage will make up theirs about who can best improve it. Liz Raines, KTVA 11 News.